We're here with the Lily White Light and Eric Donovan in Adam Booth's gym in Coolsden in London. Ahead of his um, next fight on the Cut the Clash 2 on the National Stadium on the 27th of May in Dublin. Over here for a little bit of sparring, uh, tell us all about that. Yeah, um, Ryan Burnett uh, got in touch, asked me to give him a hand um, in preparation for his uh, world title fight against Lee Haskins on June the 10th. Um, on Sky Sports so um, I was happy to oblige uh, Ryan has always been a good friend of mine for years and I've always admired his boxing ability and I said from day one that he's going to be a world champion and um, you know I wish him the best of luck and I'm just, just happy to help um, but I'm also preparing here myself for my fight on 27th of May and preparation's going really well I had a good spar with Ryan today and um, yeah, it's all systems go. I love this environment. It's great to be here in Adam Boots gym. Some plenty of talent and quality, quality fighters walking around in the gym, and uh, it's just uh, an environment that um, that I love, and um, I feel like I would thrive in, in an environment like this. So it was a really technical, high-paced, high-skilled six rounds that you did there. How do you see a fight going with uh, him and Haskins? Yeah, I think Haskins is a, is a very tricky, tricky southpaw boxer. Um, Ryan uh, is also very uh, tricky too. He can box, he can fight, he has a great punch, uh, super footwork and hand speed. And he's also got great conditioning. He's a really disciplined fighter and maybe youth, youth will uh, prevail in, in this one. Well, I hope it does anyway. I'm being biased anyway, aren't I? But uh, um, I just think Ryan is destined to become world champion. He made a lot of sacrifices in his life and, uh, you know, he should reap his just rewards. Yeah. So you've got your own fight coming up. You're topping the bill at the National Stadium on Celtic Clash 2. You had a, a Celtic title fight lined up against Jose Luis Gonzalez, but he's had to pull out now. So what's, what's going what's gonna to be for you now? Yeah, it's disappointing um, that it's not going to be a title fight now. Um, well, I know that there's still a possibility of one happening, but it's just guys are not available and other guys are pulling out. and. It's a very insecure kind of a business that I'm in and, and you know I've had experience of that in my last two fights. Um, going to bed the night before my last fight, the night before the weigh-in, not knowing if I had an opponent after selling over 150 tickets. Um, you know, so I'm worried and concerned that for the fans as well as myself and I want to progress in my career, I want to evolve, so I want to test myself against the best. Um, putting all that aside, it's out of my control, there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is train, work hard, dedicate myself and turn up and perform. may not be a title fight, um, but I have an opportunity to top the bill. still going to be main event and to do that in only my fourth fight on an incredible card full of a lot of promising prospects, then um, I think that's a great, great honour for me, genuinely is. So you're up at the uh, media day there uh, during the week. Uh, so many fighters on the bill. Pretty exciting, a lot, especially a lot of them you might not know a whole lot about as well. So it'd be good to get a, on the Celtic Clash too, it'd be good to get a, a look at those as well. Yeah, um, there's a lot of, lot of featherweights, super featherweights now turning professional. And uh, you know, I've been a well experienced amateur, but I'm still only a novice professional. Um, and hopefully I can maybe get some fights in the near future against these guys. Um, I'm not interested in um, being stagnant in my career. I'm not interested in having to encourage people to come and watch me um, stay in the one spot. I want to go on this journey and I want to create something. I want to win something and really make it worthwhile. Um, when I say I sacrifice an awful lot, I mean like I had to cancel work as well for the last couple of weeks as well. And you know, that's my source, primary source of income. And uh, so that takes a strain on, on me as well. Um, this is a tough, tough game, trust me. Um, but it's the love and the passion that I have for it that makes me want to do it. But I don't want to do it um, to, to, like I said, remain stagnant in my career. I want to go and create something and win something and evolve and progress. And uh, hopefully that will happen very, very soon. All right, listen, thanks very much for talking to us. And um, we'll uh, catch up with you at Clash 2 uh, in Dublin on the 27th of May. Thank you. Thanks for supporting me.